forewarn weather with exclusive cutting edge technology to help keep you and your family safe. Welcome back, everybody. You know, the, the dense fog that we have right now, I know it can be challenging. I know it can be dangerous, uh -huh. but it also means that things are warming up, so I kind of have to look right. at that way, right? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, Who Mr. Are Glass you? Half Ball. Mr. Positivity. We love it. That's what they call me around the here. snow <laughs> is melting. Well, I feel like we're in that really awkward stage, though, where it's just gross, though. Like, the snow is melting. Yeah. It's wet. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so much salt out there yes. that it's, like, knee-high on your legs <laughs> as you're walking out there. I get it. It certainly is not pretty out there, but you have a very good point, Mr. Monticelli. It is getting warmer. Look, we just got a live update. 40 degrees in the city. Yes, a round of applause around around here. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny that you asked if it's spring. I just did a little app cast on our uh, forewarned weather app about Groundhog Day because that's going to be next week. Can you believe yeah, that? Right. Yes. So yeah, we're already talking about spring, but right now we got to get through this 40 degrees in downtown Detroit, calm winds, and that's playing a huge role in this visibility of less than a mile. So we're not able to blow around just that soupy air that we have here. Even the rain showers not helping us out across the metro area down to a half mile in Mount Clemens, Grosseal, a third of a mile in Monroe. And for our friends in Lenawee County, Adrian, zero mile visibility. It doesn't matter where you go in southeastern Michigan. We are pretty much at a mile or less with our visibility. Temperatures right now, though, on the rise, upper 30s to 40 degrees all across southeastern Michigan. And that's playing a role in the fog that we're seeing because the surface temperatures are still really close to or just below the freezing mark. So let's explain how this works as far as fog formation in the winter months. So you have the cold land, and of course, we still have some snowpack at the surface, and the Arctic air has really kept those surface temperatures cold for a stretch of days. So as this warm air mass comes comes through filled with moisture and no winds to blow this around. You get the fog that develops and we still have moisture in our air, but it's this air that gets cooled to saturation that makes it less transparent. So it creates the visibility issues out there and we're going to hold on to that all the way through tomorrow morning. So just prepare if you have to be out and about running errands with the kids this evening or you're planning to you know, drive into work tomorrow. Give yourself extra time because the fog advisory has been extended until 11 a.m. tomorrow. Here's a look at exact track. 4D where rain is coming down from Detroit all the way up past Richmond into Port Huron. Romeo all the way off towards Fenton, Heartland getting some of the rain. A little break as you get closer to Metro Airport down into Inkster and Taylor, so closer to I-94. But it's only a little pocket because as we go farther south into Monroe and Lenawee counties, we have light steady rain on exact track 4D. One thing we do have going for us, though, is that with these warmer temperatures, we traded the icy sidewalks this morning to wet pavement this afternoon because the temperatures are rising and we're dealing with the rain showers. So we'll hold on to rain throughout the afternoon and evening as we hover in the upper 30s. We'll take you through the timeline here. So as we go into the afternoon, I think about 6, we really start to see progress with that rain, the first bout at least, pushing out of here. We'll be cloudy through the overnight, cloudy for a good chunk of tomorrow, but then tomorrow evening by 10, more rain builds in, and this this rain is going to be heavy. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So widespread heavy showers midnight Friday, and that will last into the early morning hours Friday before sunrise. Now, once we get closer to sunrise, this is going to be up into the thumb and we'll be catching a break from those showers. And so just make sure that you're taking proper precautions and clearing all that snow and ice around your house to prevent flooding from the snow melt over the next couple days. We'll be right around 40 degrees, though, to round out the week into the upcoming weekend. Chance for a mixed Sunday, but then even warmer temperatures by the end of next week. We'll have more after the break.